Hello, this is Liam from Flame Farm Studios, and welcome to After Thoughts. This uh, series will re mostly replicate around the Nintendo Directs and Inside Xbox uh, ep episodes, and I'll be doing my thoughts on them soon and then. I'll escalate into live reactions, and you know. This video will replicate around today's Smash Bros Direct and you know what the name is? Piranha Plants Robs and Those Light Thingies That's yeah you didn't really need me to say that but had to so there was a lot of stuff really introduced first we had the Sm the final two Smash characters announced in Cine War, and some of you should know is a uh, is one of the final evolutions of the uh, of mm, from the Pokemon Sun and Moon starters and Ken, and um, he is Ryu's rival from Street Fighter. Apart from that, wasn't really that much. Unless if you watched the whole thing, which I bet you did, there was there was spirits, and just to say this, how Emma Ritz is now my most favorite uh, character who I don't know about yet. Yeah, he uses a warp, and yeah, that's literally just mostly the thing that interested me is uh, and like. Then there was the, wait, fast forward again, and, uh, but not to the part where Sakurai rests, he had a break. We have, I have respect him for that, even I would need a break. <sighs> Pixels Limited has not bet nostalgic opinions from number of episodes. <sighs> now back to assist trophies, and there were a lot of interesting ones, there was Akira from the Virtual Fighter series, and a giant, there was also Spring Man from ARMS, and I think there was also the Octolings, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but like, if you go back, or, sorry for going back, it's kind of like, um, kind of losing track, you could realize that you could actually manage to train them, and it's nothing really special, it's just, uh, apart from the characters, there's, if I am correct, there was, uh, if I could, uh, Captain Keiko from Splatoon 2, Salmon 1, thing that my friend, uh, that one of my friends is obsessed with, and, no, it isn't, no, it isn't that, sorry for my confusedness, you might as well just call me bastard on Twitter, if you do that, Thank you. And then is the n next thing which is pro which Scott mentioned. Piranha plant. I don't know why it ended up being used as some sort of downloadable con. No, it was a limited edition offer. But just why? Why would you need Piranha Plant? Like, come on, you don't really think much of it until you realize that could, that's based off the Venus fly traps. That's the only thing you should think about from that. And from when you think of Piranha Plant, there's nothing much to it. It's a lot like thinking about T-Series in a world of gamers. And trust me, T-Series, I'm not liking them. I'm saying this on YouTube, this, uh, 
now back to on to uh, the topic and then you'll realize they're bringing back story mode sort of and yes when i say story mode i'm not talking about just some stupid cutscene that they use for Smash 4. Uh, yes, this was kind of a huge disappointment, but adventure series, World of Light. They must really love drugs, do they? Just I don't really know why. Why would you need drugs? But it's just them. They could do whatever they want. I could be able to piss on uh, on the street if I want to. Not since I am. But. And then. That was literally just about it. That was so, so sad for as well. The assist trophies. Tails and knuckles as the spirits. Yes, but I would still give it a 10 out of 10. Not because I love Directs. Yes, I think the Nintendo Directs can be awful sometimes. But, roll on the next Direct. This is the last one for Smash Ultimate before the game comes out. I know this won't be the last. They'll do some for the downloadable content. Man, we should really start seeing more of Sakurai's face, though. He reminds me of Spag 